Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be checking out some Laser Guy, a.k.a. Harold here. This is from uh, Point and Sheep Games, and this was a game that they made for the uh, Game Maker's Toolkit Game Jam, and there will be sound kicking in in just a sec, as you can see. And yeah, you basically play this alien that has an immediate allergic reaction in the office, and you basically have to not kill your office mates, <laughs> and that is all I know. I've just played the first couple uh, screens, but it's basically a twin-stick shooter, and everything from basically here on in will be all new to me. Um, and actually, I already forget how to not torch these uh, <laughs> co-workers of mine here. Um, I think I have to go over here. And yeah, certain, the different uh, furniture, like the wood furniture, will burn up a little bit quicker. The metal furniture takes a little bit longer. So you obviously have to just make sure that you don't... Oh, no. Why am I stuck here? I was, like, stuck right there. What was that all about? Oh, <laughs> torched. So it's like instantaneous torching once you touch them too. So I must have got caught on like the wall or something. Yeah, there we go. Um, um, I'm gonna have to wait for them to go around. There, uh, it's almost like a stealth game a little bit. A little bit of puzzle, a little bit of stealth. Let's keep going. Oh, barely got through there. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I, t I didn't see that uh, co-worker there. Just <laughs> torch them over on the left. It's like a locker room. We got a little scrolling going on. Um, oh, I can get through here. I can do this. A little bit of camera shifting. No biggie. Again, these are games that were made over the course of uh, 48 hours, I think. I do think that there were, this game did receive a couple of extra patches, but... Hmm. Like post-jam uh, patches, but... I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't know how to get by without torching one of these. Oh, sneak by? Oh. Okay. Um, yes. Yes. Oh, there's a little black cat in the corner. That's great. Just for good, good measure, for good luck. Oh, I got this one. I got this one easy. Oh, yeah. Whew. Just gotta like, I'm just like hugging the edges of the, of the uh, screen with the mouse. Oh, okay. Here we go. Just get through. Ah, torched him. I was like, why did I stop? Yeah, if you see the screen just kind of shifting every once in a while, that is just the game for some reason is doing that. Um, but again, not really messing me up. Although, who did I kill there? I'm not quite sure. Oh, the person in the corner. Okay. But it's hard to sneak through. The, it's like I almost have to blow some of this stuff up. I'm focusing. Oh, who am I killing there? I think I'm hitting that orange mouse, maybe, without noticing it. Oh, no, I'm doing that. I'm torching the blue. Looks kind of literally like a butthead. <laughs> a blue butthead. Ah, oh, come on. I keep getting caught on that corner. Um, but I really love the music. I love the pixel art. Uh, this is like a really solid game concept. Oh, I am hitting that mouse too. Um, or I think it's a mouse. Um, but this is a really solid game concept uh, that could easily be fleshed into a full-fledged experience. Okay, let me just make sure. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'll just go around. Oh, shoot, I'm going to have to blow away that can, that garbage can. There we go. Um, I'm probably going to have to blow away this chair. Oh, no, wait. How do I get out of here? Um, no, last second sniped on accident. But now that I know which way I have to go. Oh, this game is sweet. Okay, just go. There we go. And again, I have no idea how long this is, so fair warning on spoilers and whatnot. And if you uh, like what you see, we'll always have links in the video description to where you can check out the game for yourself. If you're interested, <laughs> I'm like Forrest Gump, get out of here. Um, but yeah, we always recommend once you like what you see and you know you want to check the game out, then just go do so. Oh, look at that sneak. I'm getting good. Don't, don't brag, but... 
getting the hang of things. Oh no, now this is getting tight. I think I'm gonna... Yeah. <laughs> My mega desk! Uh... Shit. Yes. Yeah, that camera just shifts every once in a while. That almost threw me off there. Um... Can I just... No. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Do I go around the back? Oh no. <laughs> um... Part of me... Okay, I think I... No, can't do that. Here we go. No, not that either. Okay, those green folks can take a little more damage. Okay, I'm getting too risky on that. I can't just do that straight away. I was trying to just take that desk out of commission. Oh, no. Shit. Thought I had it figured out just when I was bragging. I think I'm getting good. Um, yeah, I'll cut the line if I need to. There we go, there we go. Don't tor- Ah, double torched. <laughs> this is a great tune here, too. It's nice and jazzy. Didn't overdo it on the sound effects. It's like nice and, uh, oh, no. Oh, but I know what to do now. Let's take these chairs out. I know what to do now. Yeah. Water cooler. Nothing to talk about at the water cooler today, folks. Oh, yeah. I'm getting there. I got a feeling the doctor is going to take care of my allergic reaction here. Which way? The med kit? Better be in there. <laughs> Should have just been a farmer. This isn't Stardew Valley, Harold. Heck yeah, but what an awesome game. Definitely recommend checking this one out. Obviously, you can see all the folks that developed this over at Point and Sheep Games right here. But uh, I'm definitely excited to check out some of their other stuff. I know they're working on a game. I think it's called Bloodless at the moment. So I'm excited to see what else they got going on. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching as always. And take care.